Well, Jamie, first of all, welcome to Warsaw Football Club. How delighted are you to be in this new role? Yeah, I'm thoroughly delighted, Tom, to be part of the club and moving forward in what is the technical director's role that's becoming very popular and essential at football clubs. And what are you looking to bring to Warsaw Football Club? I think first and foremost the role in particular is to create continuity and consistency in an industry where it's very volatile in the football department and, and ultimately there to support the management and, and the football side of in the aspect of, of the club. And that's really started to improve in recent weeks under head coach Brian Dutton. You know, have you had the chance to, to have a look at the, the football side of things yet? No, I've just been like everyone else that, that's part of also Football Club at the moment. I've, I've watched the games, I enjoyed Saturday's performance and result, uh, and I'm just looking forward to the interaction with the football department and hopefully provide that, that support behind the scenes. And you've had previous experiences on that side of things, the, the playing side, the football side of it. You know, are you looking to bring those past experiences into this role? Yeah, I think that you've touched on past experiences. I think, can you add that support in different aspects? Because nowadays, the, the role of a manager, it, it's growing and it's so much uh, the way the football industry is that to expect a manager to be able to do everything and anything, uh, aka Alex Ferguson, is very difficult. So, so hopefully by, by providing some support in different key areas, it, it helps the manager have the tools to, to perform on a Saturday to get those three points that we all want. And that's exactly it. It's about providing that support to a young manager like Brian Dutton and his assistant in Matt Sadler, both of whom are very early on in their coaching careers. But it's all about bringing your experience in now to help ease those, those guys through, isn't it? Yeah, and it's about working together and providing uh, the management team w what they require to, to be successful every Saturday because that's what we want. Uh, obviously, I've been fortunate enough to play at the level that I've played at, coached at the level uh, and even managed. And, and with the last two years, I've been focusing on, on the recruitment side uh, and made that conscious decision because I feel the strategic role as a technical director befits and suits my strengths and, and, and hopefully I can add value to not only the, the support for the manager but the football club in general. You've got a pretty impressive CV behind you, you know, that with where you've worked and the talent that you've worked with, is that something that you're, again, looking to bring into this new role? Yeah, I think having fortunate enough to, to manage and, and coach and, and even play at this level, it's about borrow, begging and stealing and using contacts and network and, and maximising those that, that's been built up over the last 30 years I've been involved in football and hopefully not only will the, the management team benefit from that but, but we will as a football club. And as part of your role at, at Crystal Palace, you know, you're ahead of the emerging talent, you know, you've seen just what it takes to bring youngsters through, you know, specialising in 17 to, to 22, 23, you know, it, it really is that part of a, a key experience of yours working with, with young players, would that be fair to say? Yeah, I think if you look at my track record and history uh, of, of developing players as an under 23 coach to then going into the recruitment side and understanding the market of 17 to 22 year olds it means hopefully that that my knowledge and, and expertise in that area will be beneficial to us moving forward and we've seen that the Warsaw Football Club have bought through young players themselves most recently the likes of Sam Perry who's recently signed a new contract Alfie Bates as well is that something again you'll be looking to do bring through more emerging talent from the academy yeah I think if you look at any club and any supporter or anyone involved with a football club there's nothing better than bringing your own through who, who are rich in, in the feeling for the club who want to be here and, and we look to maximise that first and foremost you know when we talk about recruitment first place you look is to recruit from within in every aspect in every role and including players so yes it's something that obviously we'll be looking and especially long term where we look at the strategic a plan for the club, um, building the infrastructure, both from from a recruitment aspect and an academy, and and it's almost the the, the role of a technical director becomes like a glue, uh, and it's creating that 
consistency and continuity in what I've mentioned is a volatile part of the business. And there's still six games left of this season, but you're always going to have a you know a forward-thinking mind mindset into you know what's what's to come next, and you give us a little flavour of what is possibly to come next for Warsaw Football Club. Well, obviously the plans already start for next season, and, and yet they're constantly evolving uh, in many aspects. But that is the focus for this season to move into next, and, and the immediate focus for the role is to help support the manager and what's required to have those tools to make sure that we're competitive and, and moving forward and progressing next season. Uh, albeit after that, we have to take that, that longer term view and look at the strategic plan to make sure that we have the infrastructure in place to enable us to consistently uh, produce a team and, and develop the club. And you mentioned that you were uh impressed and enjoyed Saturday's win against Forest Green Rovers. What have you made of it overall from the outside looking in? Yeah, again, you know, first thing that, that anybody involved with this club will demand and expect is attitude and application. And I think Saturday's game and approach epitomised what, what would be expected in terms of the standards. Uh, it's great to get three points because ultimately at that first team level it's about those three points and it's about winning those games. So that will build confidence and belief and I'm looking forward to the game tonight. And from the powers that be, what have they said to you that's impressed you and, uh, and what have you made of that aspect of it so far? I, again, you know, I'm big on people and when you meet people you get a sense and a feeling, can you work with people, can you work together to be successful, both with, with Stefan and the chairman, uh, I got that feeling, uh, I really enjoyed listening to their vision and plan and, and, and what we're really looking for and what would be great is to to reflect all the good work that goes on behind the scenes at this football club and the many branches in different areas on that football pitch because then we can all be part of it and drive forward as a football club. And you mentioned working together, you clearly then share the same vision as what the chairman and Steph, uh, the chief executive? Yeah, I, th I think you've got to. You know, wh when we mentioned consistency and continuity, uh, and the word glue of being a technical director, you're that conduit between the, the football side, which happens on the pitch, and, and, and the strategic planning behind the scenes with the chairman and, and, and the chief executive. So I think in any club coming into such a role, I think you must have alignment to create that continuity and consistency and, and make sure that you have sustained success and not just short term.